So you know how everyone's doing like the 10 year photos like then and now? I will show you guys some pictures of Derek and I from 10 years ago. I look like I'm 10 years old. That feels like another lifetime. Somebody sent me a GoFundMe link that was using the baby's pictures. The person who doing the scam, that was one person. But think about all those people who donated the $600,000. Say hello, Internet. Hello, hello, Internet. Cozy, say hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. <laughs> hey, guys. So right now, Ember is helping me open up a package. You guys know how I feel about all things like Amazon, Amazon Prime, Alexa, Echo, all the things. You know, we have those smart plugs because I just think it's so awesome and fun. So I just upgraded the clock by my nightstand. So I'm going to show you what I've been using. I'm gonna go grab it because the baby's in there sleeping so I have to be quiet. I upgraded my clock. I have been using the same iHome the whole entire time Derek and I have been married so that's like almost 11 years. Are you playing peekaboo with Jensen? Yeah. Okay, do it again. Okay. It's like peekaboo. <laughs> it's like, I am Z. Is that what he's like? Where's Jensen? There he is. All right, so I got distracted. I went into the room to get the old eye home and the baby was asleep I mean and the baby was awake so I got him up we're getting some dinner and I wanted to show you guys so this is my old eye home that I've had for oh, about 11 years look at that and it, did, it hasn't even been able to charge my phone have you even do you guys even does anyone even know what this charger is do you guys young people even recognize that for the old 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 iPhones so it hasn't charged my phone in forever but I've just kept it so finally, I upgraded. I upgraded. We're gonna get this new Echo Dot and I'm gonna have a new clock, all right? I think it's about set up. And I think it's gonna look a little bit better beside my bed than this. So the problem with me is that I have terrible vision. I honestly can't see like anything. And so at night when I don't, wowza, I just got hit with the baseball bat. Careful, sis. At night when I don't have my contacts in, now I'm scared I'm gonna get hit again. At night when I don't have my contacts in, I cannot see. So I need a, a clock and, oh, and I'm obsessed with knowing what time it is when I sleep. I don't know if you guys are that way. I have to know what time it is. So I need a clock that can glow bright so I can see the numbers and that they kinda can be big so that I can see them since I'm blind. So I'm hoping this solves that problem, but we will see. But guys, what? we can't have a mommy's room. We will, we will have to you want that in your room? Did you just yeah. drop food out of your mouth? <laughs> You're not supposed to be eating over here. Go Mom, back to the table. We should have that in my room. Yes. Then I can Ever see. since we opened it, Ember's been trying to convince me that she should have that. It's not gonna work. So you know how everyone's doing like the 10 year, like the 10 year photos like then and now? Well, this is like a real life 10 year then and now. Apple I home, Echo Spot. 10 years right there. But I will show you guys some pictures of Derek and I from 10 years ago. We didn't have any kids and we looked like we were like 10 years old, so young. We were newly married, probably been married for like two years. So I'm gonna pull up some flashback pictures to show you guys our 10 years ago, then and now, okay? Don't drop the package. I bought some new light bulbs for the house because oh, I put it down and dropped it because are they the yeah they're the daylight ones because these are so yellow in all of our pictures so let's see the difference before and after I like yellow do you you like it to look a little bit dark instead of a little bit brighter in here whoa you gonna change all the light bulbs how many Emmys does it take to change a I light can't bulb? even reach. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Come here. How's dance, Brielle? Yes. Thirsty? Yes. <laughs> I think there might not be enough room for two of you, so let's close Cosette up. Hold on. This one first. Hold on. Should we send her to... Uh -oh. To Madagascar. Yep. Yeah, it's that opening her. To Madagascar. We're good. <laughs> there she is. My turn. Lay down. I get a new birthday present. It's almost my birthday. Close it on you? Yeah. Um, My butt's too I big for this. Yeah. I kind of don't think. We're going to need a lot of tape. 
can't. Okay, so this is a before. And I'm going to change the bolts. And we'll see it after. So what's happening over here, dude? Uh oh, this is gonna end well, I can already tell. <laughs> Why is it stairs? <laughs> He's trying to make a sled. Okay, let's see if he can figure this out. I believe it, I believe in you. Can I try? <laughs> it keeps matching the shape of the stairs. <laughs> it makes it kind of difficult to slide. <laughs> Kind of defeats the purpose, but hey, it made great stairs. Okay, now hold the front up so it's like a sled. Lean back and see if it'll go. So don't break your head. <laughs> Come on. Set. Go. Ah! Wait, I want to actually turn that. There you go. He's getting it. He's getting it. This is my style. Ah! <laughs> I just totally fifty. it. I went like. Great reenactment. Love it. You too. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. My turn. My turn. All right, the kids are all in bed. They actually went to bed kind of early tonight, which I say that very loosely, but Cozy didn't come out of her room like 17 times, so right. So should we call that a win? That's a win. <laughs> That's a win. So we're making Jensen's midnight snack. And I got the kitchen clean, and I wanted to show you guys the new pillows that I got for the couches. Before that, what? Oh yeah, we gotta show you this many, first. How many light bulbs? Derek just changed change? all the lights to the to the daylight Look at lights, this. and Look at this. it is so crazy how much brighter it feels in here. It's like. So turn on this light so they can see how yellow it is. Okay, so the fan is still like the old yellow lights. Look at that color yeah, difference. See, they, they, yeah, no. That's, yeah. that's disgusting. Yes. So oh. it and really. It's less energy. Oh, it's yes. LEDs. Yes, they're LEDs, so it's more efficient for your house, uses less energy, and the color is just insanely brighter. So and switch light. Don't worry, there's just. I just was realizing there's a plunger over there. Oh yeah, no, we need to leave that. That's a new decoration. New decoration. You know, I got new couches, we got a new plunger. Just kidding, nope. One of the kids clogged the toilet downstairs. Surprise, surprise, and no one's claiming it. <laughs> probably gonna be like a bad man. Yeah, there's probably a toy in the toilet. Yeah. So we, I got our, the new pillows for the couch. It's actually coming together pretty good. We got the couches, we got the pillows. I'm kind of feeling like it's coming together, so that's really nice. So you know how right now, I think earlier tonight I t we were talking about the 10 year challenge, you know, versus then and now. So I pulled up a bunch of pictures of Derek and I 10 years ago. So we're gonna do our then and now. Are you guys ready? Okay, gotta find my computer. Are you ready? I was, I was way cooler then than I am Whatever. now. Whatever, you get handsomer. I was handsome so cool then. You get more handsome every day, hon. Oh. You get better with age, so. You have to say that because you're married to me. <sighs> They're pretty funny. Look at us. Look at those babies. What was that from? This was Christmas. So this was like Christmas of 2009? No, 2008. You look exactly <laughs> the same. I look like I'm 10 years old. Well, you look 11. 11. This was the same time of year. You look a little better in the daytime. Um, You look better. I look worse. We look night so I look, young. I look better in the night. It's dark and you can't see my face, but you? And my teeth were whiter and I was tanner because I worked at a tanning salon and we had teeth whitening and spray tans and that was like, I... Can you get that job back? I know, I always whitened my teeth and I always got a spray tan. Oh, here's another. We did a little photo shoot. This was the first Christmas card we sent out. Does the tree like right there, it kind of looks like you have like a mullet. I'm not looking at me, I'm looking at you. You're so hot. What? Holy cow, no wonder I'm... Yeah. No wonder you married yeah, me. Look at you. You have to say I still look that good. You do. You look better. Okay, here's another one. Where is this? This might be at Rascal Flats. It's in. I see it somewhere. With green. I, I do. I see it somewhere. <laughs> it is somewhere. You're right. It's somewhere. Just the two of us. And I had short, short blonde hair. Those were the days. That feels like another lifetime, doesn't it? Yeah. 
I don't even remember life before we had kids. But you might still have that sweater. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just get rid of it. Ten years is a long time. Lots has happened. But I wouldn't change it. It's crazy. What what would you tell yourself, your ten year your ten year ago self? I would probably say it's gonna be better than you thought and harder than you thought. That sounds about right. Yeah. I mean That's what I wanna say. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Yeah. It's Life is good. Keep moving forward. The other thing I wanted to talk about tonight is is about the GoFundMe. One of a viewer or someone that follows me on Instagram sent me a message last night, and I don't even know if we ended the vlog because it kind of got like a little bit, the night kind of got a little bit crazy with finding out all that information. It was really distracting. So somebody sent us, I could probably pull it up. Somebody sent me a GoFund link, a GoFundMe link that was using the baby's pictures and saying like, help this baby get a, two, a surgery and all this stuff and it even had like our meet the millers logo on it and you could see my hand in the picture i mean it was like very clearly very, clear. very clearly and i p actually clicked on we got to that gofundme you guys there was six hundred and twenty two thousand dollars in that gofundme um so we of course like reported it and I know lots of people reported it as well as being a it's fake disgusting. account so I hope that nobody that I don't think that anyone I think all the money will be I hope so refunded we don't really I don't We've really never know asked how for a penny to help in our situation oh yeah yeah I mean honestly just people's support and love is all we've ever all needed, we needed and that's all we've ever asked for and you know we've really appreciated that so we hope that none of you guys were involved in that and we're hoping that it's getting resolved right now. But the crazy thing was, is so some so once I posted that that had been that that had happened, I actually had several people reach out to me saying that um, they know people where it has happened to them that, you know, their personal tragedies have been used, kind of exploited in that kind of way. And I mean that's seriously just so disturbing because Obviously, those people that are doing that can't really understand the horror and the nightmare that someone is going through in those moments if they're willing to try to exploit that for their own Making gain. Making money off of our... Yeah. And I honestly, like, I don't feel... We were talking about this last night. Like, I don't feel personally violated by it. Do you? No, it's not about that. It's just the fact of it. It's just, Yeah, it's it's in general. It's I would be just as upset as if it was happening to somebody else, you know, knowing that it's because it doesn't feel personal to me. Yeah, it's not about It's us. not personal, yeah. It's just, it's disgusting. Yeah, it's really sad that people would do that. And then the cr it got even crazier. So somebody was like, look up that name on Facebook. So then I looked up the name and they had like our pictures and clips of, the, of our videos. And that was the only time, like I actually did get emotional because the clip, the times yeah. of the clip that they had like it was when the before the baby surgery and he could hardly cry and I could go back to that place like so it was it's just a very vulnerable moment I don't know it was it was crazy to see it being used that way so obviously we reported the Facebook account as well Derek this morning did you think the face the GoFundMe was down it was down. Okay. I reported it. And, yeah. And it was down when I checked it so, again this morning. We think the GoFundMe is down. I'm hoping the Facebook page gets down soon. But, you know, it's just a reminder Still. to us, like, make sure if you're donating, donating to a GoFundMe, you know, it's le legit. Go through all the pictures. Check the names. Make sure that things match up. But I said this on my Instagram stories. So some of you guys have maybe have heard this twice. But the, the person who... Po who was doing the scam that was one person but think about all those people who donated the six hundred thousand dollars like those are people who were just loving and caring thinking i want to try to help this baby i want to try to help this family people that we obviously wouldn't even know or have any connection to and so the fact that there's that many people who are willing mm. to help somebody that they don't even know is something that I really think is 
a really awesome thing. So, you know, I don't think anyone's losing money. I think every, like everything should be resolved, but you know, it's a good reminder that it's in this situation. It'd be really easy to be like, to get like, feel like people are really, there's lots of, you know, just kind of get down on like, just a few ruin it for the majority. Yeah. A few people just ruin yeah. what we're trying to do. But then if you look at the flip side, though, there was so much more good in that situation than bad. So, you know, I think it's going to all sort itself out. And we just want to let you guys know that we're thankful for everybody and their support. This journey isn't always what we expect it to be. <laughs> Remember our 10-year-old self, 10-year-ago self, I don't know. We would have never expected our lives would be the where they are. But we wouldn't change it. But we wouldn't change it at all. It's so much better than we could have imagined. Yeah, the trials are a lot more than we could have imagined, too. It's just part of life. Yep. But we just stick together and we just keep on trying, keeping right? Keeping on. Keep on keeping on. That's right. That's right. So we're going to go to bed To bed. Now. To bed. Give Jensen his drink and try to get some sleep. So thanks for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Come back tomorrow. And maybe we'll do something more exciting than just sit on the couch and talk, right? <gasps> What's I mean, I know we're super exciting, but I promise it'll be better and more exciting and more of the kids because they're the cutest ones anyways, right? Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.